Hey everyone, welcome to my evening routine video. Today I'm gonna show you how I unwind and relax after a work day. I'm gonna show you also how to make these delicious pumpkin poblano stuffed shells, completely vegan, completely plant-based, and seriously so tasty. My mom and sister came over on this day and they were big fans, so I know you guys are gonna love it. I hope you enjoy this evening routine. Thank you to Helix for teaming up with me and let's get started. Hey guys, so I'm just wrapping up work now and it's been a really chaotic day to be honest with you. I had a weird situation happen right in the middle of the day. I was going to open the bathroom door and it literally broke off in my hand, like the whole handle, and it made it to where I couldn't open the door. Like it was totally stuck. Tried to fix it myself, made it so much worse. I got it fixed eventually, but it was the kind of thing that just sort of set my day a little bit behind, but actually I think that's kind of perfect since I'm filming an evening routine video because not every day is, you know, relaxing and calming, but I do feel like because I have an evening routine in place that I kind of do some version of every day, it really does help me to kind of let go of the day, unwind, get back to myself, kind of, you know, rest, recharge, and start anew the next day. That's what I think is the most valuable part about having an evening routine. It's not about making it aesthetic or looking, you know, like anyone else's even, but it's just about kind of doing what makes you feel good and taking care of the things that you need taken care of so that you feel like you can have a good evening and a fresh new start to the day the next day. So that's what my evening routine is, and I'm really looking forward to it because like I said, today has been a little all over the place. My family is in town, so we're gonna be having dinner together Together and I want to be able to be present and like really enjoy my time with them and not carry everything over from my work day into the night with them you know so I'm gonna actually go ahead and go on a walk I'm listening to a really good audiobook so I'm gonna finish I'm almost done with it so I'm gonna finish that and before I go I'll throw in some laundry because I want to have fresh sheets because I just got a new mattress and I want my first sleep to be with like nice fresh fluffy clean sheets so I'm gonna throw in my laundry head outside and get walking I kind of have two different styles of work days. Some days I'm at the desk editing and writing for most of the day, and other days I'm in the kitchen kind of cooking and I'm on my feet a lot. And so either way, I usually feel like I have to get outside before I lose all the sunlight. There's just something about getting fresh air that really helps to break up the day. It's looking all crazy. It was so hot outside. But I wanted to show you this book. I think I've mentioned it before in videos, but this is one of the handful or so of books that have really changed my life. I used to hate sleep. I know I'm in the minority there. I know most people love sleep. They look forward to bedtime. I'm like one of those children who when it's bedtime, like they just throw a fit and they cry because they don't want to go to sleep. I still feel like that. I like sleeping and I like being comfortable and I like getting a good night's sleep. I like being rested, but like having to end the day to go to sleep is something that I have prolonged and prolonged and I procrastinate and then I'm too tired and my day starts all weird. And so I read this book and I realized that actually that is so unhealthy. And this really helped me understand from a scientific point of view, like what actually happens to our bodies when we sleep more importantly what happens to our bodies when we don't sleep which that just like really made an impact on me because I'm someone who likes to eat a healthy diet and it's like I eat all this kale and these berries and I drink lots of water and I eat oats and all these things that are good for me and I think this was a good reminder that you know health is more than just food like food is a big part of it but really there are a lot of different components to overall health like getting good exercise like getting good sleep and this book just really made me realize that I need to be prioritizing that so huge game changer i'll link it below he also has some really good interviews that i'll link below like podcast interviews he's fascinating this book is fascinating sleep is fascinating it's all it's all really cool but ever since my breakup i've been kind of readjusting and i think that whenever you go through a breakup like you not only are dealing with the loss of you know that person in your life but you're also kind of just drastically changing the course of your life like you think your life is going in one way and for me I kind of thought that eventually I'd be moving to DC and I was thinking about what I was going to move or what I wasn't going to move what I was going to take with me all that stuff and so I kind of feel like for a long time I kind of had one foot out the door like I was really sort of itching to get to that next chapter in my life and it did feel in addition to like the heartbreak part of my breakup it also did feel like I was kind of stuck here because I kind of thought I was going out of here and I am here again and it's not a bad place to be it's just not what I was expecting and so I've kind of tried really hard to get back to the things that I love make this space feel more like my space again in a place that I love and enjoy being in that feels like me and upgrading my bed was a big thing I've actually slept on this helix sleep mattress before specifically the midnight there's a couple different versions I know that I love it I know that I sleep really well on it and I really wanted to upgrade the mattress that I had to this mattress for a long time and so finally I was 
feels like this is the time I'm gonna do this for myself I'm gonna make sure that my bed is a really inviting cozy space that I want to spend time in that I look forward to sleeping in because you guys know I hate bedtime I still hate it even though I know it's good for me and so having a bed that is really comfortable and getting a good night's sleep is something that I just thought would be a nice thing to do for myself so I got the helix sleep mattress you can actually take a sleep quiz because everybody sleeps a little bit differently I personally like a little bit more of a medium mattress because I'm a side sleeper and I find that that support is kind of the perfect balance plus this has like a little bit of a cooling top on top of it and if you're a hot sleeper this is really great for that and it is also vegan friendly the first time I laid on this mattress I did not want to get up because it's so soft it's so comfortable and it feels like you're laying in a hotel bed like it feels like that thick supportive but still soft mattress that you sleep on when you sleep at a fancy hotel and it is so 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 comfortable you can sleep on it for 100 nights they offer a 100 night sleep trial and also a 10 year warranty and they also have financing plans and flexible payment plans so you can really make it work for you and if you click the link in the description box below you can get up to $200 off of a helix sleep mattress mattress is almost done fluffing up I'm gonna go grab my laundry and make my bed and get started on dinner I really like to get dinner started early so that I'm not like super super hungry and then I still have to cook a whole meal I like to do it a little bit earlier and that way I can have it ready and waiting for me and in the meantime I'll just kind of tinker I'll clean up a little bit and get myself ready to chill out relax and enjoy the evening this is one of those recipes that you just have to taste because I cannot describe the flavor. It's a really, really delicious sauce that is kind of a savory take on fall recipes. I feel like a lot of fall recipes can lean a little bit on the sweet side and this is intensely savory and so flavorful. I'm gonna start with some poblano peppers and onions and I just sweat this out for a couple of minutes in a pan along with some cumin, allspice, salt, pepper, a little nutmeg and garlic. I love how the warming spices kind of bloom in the pan, cook down together with the veggies and we're gonna go ahead and add this to a blender to make a really quick sauce. In the blender I'm gonna add some soaked cashews and pure pumpkin puree just straight from a can. I love this one from Libby's and I love the vibrant color. It's very appropriate for fall. This was about the point where I was realizing that I grabbed the small blender and I needed the larger one so I switched it off camera and I added some maple and some vegan milk and it does turn into this very smooth and creamy super super flavorful sauce and it was so good that I actually decided to write it down ASAP and this is usually Usually what I do when I'm making dinner and I'm like oh my gosh I have to share this recipe with you guys and this is usually how most of my recipes start I make a recipe I like it I take notes and then I test it a couple times so I can share it with you guys so I jotted down the notes cook some pasta shells and then rinse them with cold water so that I could handle the shells and stuff them with a very simple version of my vegan tofu ricotta. That's not only going to add a lot of richness and creaminess, but it's also going to make this meal a little bit more filling because we're going to get some extra fiber and protein. Then I just pour that beautiful green sauce all over the top and I like to smooth it out with a spatula, but you don't have to do that. And if you wanted to add some cheese on top or something like that, you totally could. While that baked, I went ahead and cleaned up the kitchen so that I wouldn't have to do that later, lit some candles, and right before dinner, I just made a quick salad. This was actually a really nice compliment to the baked shells because it was like super zesty and fresh. The olives in particular were really good with the poblano pumpkin sauce, and I liked that it was kind of like a cold, crunchy, refreshing side dish with something that's really rich and creamy and savory. It was like the perfect combo. Now because the filling inside is smooth and creamy and the sauce is smooth and creamy, I figured having a little bit of texture on top would really improve the dish. And I think adding specifically these pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds was not only a nice kind of seasonal touch, but it also added the perfect amount of crunch. It wasn't too hard, it was just kind of delicately crunchy and it really worked with the creamy and rich flavors. So we serve this up kind of buffet style and I will put the full recipe in the description box below so you can make this because if you're looking for a really hearty, cozy fall recipe, you've gotta try it. My whole family loved it and we enjoyed it while watching some Netflix. And for dessert, we ended up having some leftovers of these pudding cups that I had filmed for TikTok on this day. I kind of make these like banana pudding style with like cookie crumbs, vegan whipped cream, banana slices. I'll put the recipe for both the pasta and the banana pudding in, well, it's vanilla pudding with bananas, but I'll put all of that in the description box below so you can make it too. 
A few years ago, I used to just take my makeup off with a makeup wipe because it seemed really fast and convenient, but I found that this balm is actually a really eco-friendly way to remove all of my makeup, so that's usually what I do. Then I get into the shower, wash my face, and afterwards I use this hyaluronic acid. It helps to hold on to moisture, especially since it's so dry here in California. And then I follow with this vegan-friendly, cruelty-free moisturizer. Sometimes I follow up with this one on top. These are actually pretty similar in terms of the texture. They're like a gel moisturizer. And then this is my favorite lip balm. It's unscented, plain, vegan friendly. It took a little bit of getting used to because it's not quite as waxy as like thick and waxy as beeswax lip balms, but it really hydrates my lips. And I do find that I have very sensitive lips. So using this lip balm has been a total game changer and I love it. Now, one thing I always like to do is make a little bit more at dinner time than I think I'm gonna need, and that way I have lunch or dinner for the next day. So I just wrapped up the leftovers, I let the pan soak for a little while, and I used the leftover pumpkin from the sauce to make some overnight oats, pumpkin overnight oats, which is perfect for this time of year because it's still hot outside, but I want it to be fall. So I have like fall flavors without having to have hot oatmeal, which is really nice. I set my coffee pot, which I'm always grateful for the next day, and turned out all the lights in my clean kitchen. The last thing I do before I go to bed is make a list. I find that this really helps me the next day because instead of sort of wondering like, wait, what was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to remember? All I have to do is look at the list and it gives me a lot of peace of mind. Anyone else feel like when they use these claw clip thingies that if it hits the back of their collar or if you have like a hoodie on or something that it or like the backseat of a car, like if you're sitting back in a car and your clip hits the back of the car, Oh my gosh, it's like, I won't, I wouldn't say it's a pet peeve, but it just makes me feel so uncomfortable. I'm like constantly pushing it up so that it doesn't hit the back of my whatever I'm wearing. I feel like if I rewound this video and started at the beginning and looked at my energy then versus my energy now, it would be so different and it wasn't that much time since then and now, but that's kind of why I love an evening routine because at the start of this video, I was still very much in work mode and I was kind of firing on all the cylinders. I was juggling a lot of different things and over the course of the last few hours, I have gotten outside, I've gotten fresh air, I've tidied my apartment, I've put together my new bed, I've done laundry, I've spent quite quality time with my family more importantly. I had a really good dinner, like a really good dinner. I can't wait to share that recipe with you. Watch some good TV, I'm clean, I'm moisturized, and I'm really ready for bed. So I hope this inspired you to take a little time for yourself in the evening. And whether you have a good amount of time like I did today or a short amount of time, my evening routine kind of looks like some version of this, but sometimes it's a you know quick short version of this and sometimes it's a much more drawn out version, but overall I kind of do the same basic steps. It really does set you up to have a good day tomorrow. So I hope this video gave you some good ideas. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and click the link below to check out Helix so you can get up to $200 off your Helix mattress and I will see you guys in a video very soon. Bye.